Hello everybody, it is Mike's Talks and Thoughts here. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing a video of top 10 popular TV shows that I never plan on watching. Now this is not going to be ones that I just think that they're just awful. Uh, some of them are going to be just because I just don't know much about the series or the background of it to really see it. Uh, but these are ones that I just I never plan on watching. So coming in at number 10, we have Star Trek The Next Generation. Now this is one that I don't think is bad. It's just, I don't know anything about the Star Trek universe. I've never seen any of the Star Trek movies. So that's why I don't think I'm ever gonna be watching this because I would think that we need to watch the movies first to get a better grasp on how the series is gonna be. So yeah, I've always been a Star Wars guy over a Star Trek guy. I've never seen any of Star Trek. so. Star Trek The Next Generation, not one that I plan on seeing, but I know it is very popular. Coming in at number nine here, we have Superstore. Now this is one that I just, I've heard from my friends, it's not really the best. Uh, and that's why I'm mainly not gonna see it, but I know it's a very popular show. It's got a pretty big uh, community. Um, but for me, it's just a show that I never really think appeals to me with the background of it. So yeah, Superstore coming in at number nine. Coming in at number eight here, we have Sex in the City. This is one that is always played on TV all the time, uh, but it's always one that I never want to see. I just, I don't really like the premises of the show, um, and it's just one that I think just gets overdone a lot, and I'm not really the biggest fan of any of the actresses on the show. So yeah. For me, number eight is going to be Sex in the City for shows that I never plan on watching. Coming in at number seven here, we have This Is Us. This is one I know that is very popular. Um, but as in one, another one that my friends just have told me is just horrible. They just have heard horrible, horrible stories of it. Uh, and I just, I never want to sit down and watch this. Uh, it's just something that doesn't really interest me at all. So yeah, number seven, this is us. Coming in at number six here, we have Downton Abbey. Now this is one that another one of my friends just, they've told me they just, it doesn't sound appealing at all. And they've seen some stuff from it and they just did not like it. So usually I try and follow stuff that my friends watch or follow because I always want to talk with people about it. Uh, that's just the best way to uh, grasp TVs. You always want to, see other people's opinions about the same shows that you watch and when I hear that just stuff is bad I just I try and steer clear from it so that is another one of these shows that I am going to steer clear of Downton Abbey I've heard though people on YouTube I've seen that really do like this show so um but for me it's not going to be one that I'm going to watch coming in at number five and number four here is uh Grey's Anatomy at number four and ER at number five. So both of these shows are medical shows and I've never been big on any medical shows. Uh, I just really don't think that medical shows are my style. I just, I don't really like them at all. And for me, Grey's Anatomy, I know just gets so big and like all the love stories and love triangles and uh, it turns more into like a soap opera. Um, so yeah, that for me, I've never been big into the romance stories it's not something that really intrigues me into getting into a show so yeah i'm not really big into medical shows so number five and number four er and Grey's anatomy are shows that i never plan on seeing coming in at number three is glee now for me i just i can't stand jane lynch she is one of my least favorite actresses i i just don't like her in anything that she's done um and i just i don't really like singing shows that much uh, the only singing shows I've ever really seen are American Idol and America's Got Talent. Even The Voice, I've seen it, but I don't really like it that much. So yeah, for me, Glee, it's been on forever. And I just, I'm never going to be one that wants to get into Glee or see any of Glee. So yeah, that's a show that I'm never going to be planning on watching that I know is very popular. Coming in at number two here, we have The Middle. Now this is one that I just don't want to see it because... I've always felt like it's a ripoff of Malcolm in the Middle, which is such a good show, such a better show. Um, I just, I don't really like it. I, they had the three kids. Um, 
living with the mom and dad and lower middle class family and it just feels like such a Malcolm in the Middle ripoff from like what I've seen from pictures and what I've heard um I just even like one of the characters is named Frankie Frankie Munez like I don't know if they did that intentionally or not but like I just for me it's always been like a, a Malcolm in the Middle ripoff wannabe and it's just a show that I I just don't ever want to see Coming in at number one here is going to be any reality TV shows. Now for me, I just, I can't stand reality TV. Um, I just think it's horrible. I think I don't really care like about these people's lives and putting it on script. And it's just all scripted and it's just all a bunch of just crazy storylines. I know it's, I know it's like garbage TV. People even admit that it's garbage TV popular garbage tv but i just i don't want to see any of the reality tvs and none of the ones that come out are going to be ones that i'm ever going to watch so yeah that is my top 10 most popular shows that i never plan on watching so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and leave a comment down below of shows that you are never going to see but are very popular within communities so yeah peace out